technology. Greg. Monica. Awesome. Z. <laughs> so, what should people Mom. check out your uh, work in? Oh, Battle Planet just came out. Laboo out on DVD and for sale. Uh, Alien Ninja coming out soon. How's Alien Ninja coming along? Good. It's funny. It's very funny. All the time is the, the trailer and all that goofy behind the scenes stuff, right? Yeah. People should go check that out. Yeah, yep. totally. Yeah, Ooh. definitely check out AlienNinja.tv. Watch uh, The Barnyard, see how we made the show. The show will be coming soon. I'm working on it. Monica's going to come in for ADR. Monica plays, I'm not even going to tell you how many characters, but you'll have to, we'll have a contest to see how many people can be spot. On, on different makeup? Yeah. Lots of makeup cool. and, and just regular beautiful. <laughs> Great, that, that's uh, summer this year? That's later this summer? Yeah, later, later this summer. Fall? All right, great. Look forward to it. Oh, it's, it's really cool. My first experience, it's been really, really cool. Great, great. Um, so is this uh, what you've been working on, Crazy Days? Crazy Days is online right now. It's at crazydays.biz. And then I just finished filming a feature film called Between Kings and Queens. Mm -hmm. And you can find that online at betweenkingsandqueens.com. So tell me what a little about uh, Crazy Days. What's Crazy it about? Day, this is the, the, the cast in Crazy Days. Mm -hmm. It's about Nikayla, who is a struggling actress substitute teacher in mm -hmm. Watts in the inner city, and her zany group of friends that she grew up with. And you need to go check it out to find out more. Mm -hmm. So um, is, it, is it a bit of a, a shock to be here, you know, 10 years later, people still... You know what, it's you know, really, really still... great. It's been a great feeling because I haven't seen any of these folks for a long, long time. I've seen Catherine. Catherine will be here tomorrow. She's going to ride with me here. But uh, it's, it's been great. It's been almost like a little family reunion. I really like it. It must be uh, great to know that the show has that kind of impact after all these years, right? Yeah. It's a blessing. It really is. It, that it, was, uh, it meant so much to so many people. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me a bit about some of the, the memories you had from all your uh, experiences on set over the years. Oh, a lot of the, the beliefs and blunders. <laughs> Um, any pranks? Any, uh, do we play prank? No, not so much. We used to act really, really silly. A lot, a lot of fun. Um, just being able to, you know, have sit in the family setting and just to do scenes together and just to have life outside of Power Rangers and still be friends. It was just, it was just such a great experience. Yeah. So, uh, you've got Crazy Days, you got the movie. What else can we look for you in? Oh, hopefully more commercials, hopefully more features, and more sitcoms. Great, great. Um, uh, what advice do you have to anybody who's trying to break into acting? No matter what anybody says, everything is going to be difficult in life, mm -hmm. but if you put your mind to it and you put God first, anything's possible. Awesome. Thanks so much. So, uh, again, how, how's your plan going? Oh, it's going well. Thank you very much. So, um, What's it feel like have to know that your character had this kind of impact so many years down the line? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a good feeling. I'm proud of the work that, uh, that, that transpired from what we were doing on set into the hearts and minds of people who cared about the fans and enjoy watching. I'm sorry, the fans who cared about the characters and enjoyed watching the characters. It makes me proud of the work that I was doing. What I've done and, and I'm planning to do. Yeah, so you alluded to some of the stunt work in the show earlier. Um, what was what's the craziest stunt that you actually did have to do? You know, not the bridge thing. Oh my gosh, um, the fight choreography got pretty crazy for me because those guys knew I could do a lot of stuff. So some of the fight choreography they would give me would be pretty, and the guy that would do it, Yuji, uh, was really small, small guy. So he could he would choreograph this stuff that when you know when I got in there with my body, it was pretty difficult to pull off. It was a lot of fun. Um, I remember one day it was about 100 degrees, and I was in that costume, and I did. I'd been working on this special trick called the side summy side kick, and I kept crashing it and crashing it and crashing it, and finally I got it the last take because uh, it was a new trick. That was probably the most difficult stunt show I, I had I had worked on on the set. But it must have been liberating to go from being the suit actor to being you know the actor. You know what? It felt it felt like a proper process. For because by the time I got on the show, I really understood the show inside and out. And I could embody what the suit actors were like as the actors. So that was a little so, uh, plus. Yeah, so uh, any last words for the fans? I seem kind of getting the signal. Um, go, go Power Rangers. 
No, I don't know. Uh, I miss the show. I, I love the show. Uh, I love doing the show and the work that we did on the show. And I hope there's another show that comes out like it for guys like me to cut their teeth on when they're just getting into the business and guys like me now to come back and shine on. Do you have a website? I do have a website. It's uh, danielsouthworth.com. Sweet. So what, um, what, what's coming up soon? Um, I'm collaborating with, I'm working with uh, Ruben Langdon on doing a movie, a CGI movie. That's all top secret stuff, as much as we can say. Right. And uh, I'm doing a Time Warner commercial next week. That's, that'll be interesting. Sweet. Um, actually, maybe we should cut that until after all the commercial. It's going to take me a while to dig through this up anyway. Good. So. And then, uh, you know, as an actor, those are the things you look for commercials to come in every once in a while when you're between jobs. Um, I've written a script. I'd like to get it produced. That's the big thing I have in mind. Great. Well, uh, look forward to seeing you in it and uh, see you around the con circuit. Maybe at Powermorph Con too? Uh, I'd look forward to it. I had such a good time the last time I was here. I hope I can get an invitation this year. Great. Well, next time around. In any case, see you there. All right. Thanks All right, so much. Later. Cheers. So having a good time at the con this weekend? Yeah, it's been a good time. It's been a while since I've been out amongst my people, but it's fun. It brings back memories. Yeah, it's a bit of a family reunion, isn't it? Absolutely. It's good, though. It's good, though. It's a good family reunion. Definitely. Um, so what's it like knowing that Power Rangers has this much impact well over a decade after you were on it? It's, uh, you know, it makes you feel good because doing the show... It goes so quick, you're in and out, so you don't really feel the impact until pretty much you're done shooting. That's when you start to feel like, wow, these people know me, I made an impact, I had a couple people say they're really influenced, so it's kind of heartwarming, you know? Yeah, so what do you have coming down the pipe? Well, we'll see, we'll see, you know, only every day is a new day, so we'll see, we'll see. What have you been in lately that people would know about? Lately, I did a short film called The Simple Promise. Um, that's probably the most recent. That was out, I think, last summer. Great, great. Um, so, do you have any like messages for the fans or anything? Just stay positive and stay young. Great, thanks. See, see you around the con. Have a great weekend. Yes, sir. I'm not a celebrity. <laughs>